Welcome back to Guru Beauty. I am Jodi, sharing with you today my beauty product favorites for the month of August 2014. I have a couple of brushes and a body care product as well as a hair care product, but uh, a lot of makeup overall. Drugstore and department store brands, it spans the whole price continuum. So in no particular order, I just have everything here in a little box. I'm going to start with face products. A primer I've really been enjoying this month is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refining Primer. It says that it's suited for oily combination skin, which is what I've got. It says it's an instant mattifying pore refiner primer. Dr. Brandt recommends applying under or over makeup and throughout the day as needed. So one of those sort of silicone touch-up products as well as obviously a base underneath your foundation. I'm really enjoying this one. It is very similar to the Benefit Pore Professional. This is very, very nice. That same sort of silicone pasty type texture. It smooths on very nice and I feel like it's just a really nice foundation to put um, foundation over the top of. I have also really been enjoying this new one to the drugstore. It's from L'Oreal. L'Oreal has re-released their sort of long wear foundation. They are calling it the Infallible Stay Fresh Foundation 24 hours. I have done a review of this foundation. Look out for that. That's probably the next video going up on my channel. So if you don't want to miss that, please do subscribe. Uh, but obviously it's in my favorites. A bit of a spoiler alert. I have been really enjoying this one. So if you're after a long wear foundation from the drugstore, there are several to choose from. This one is up there competing with the Revlon Colorstay, the CoverGirl Outlast. I've got the shade 140 golden beige and uh, it's a decent match for my NC25 skin I would say. I have also pulled this one out of my drawer. It's been a while. I love this. This is probably my favorite tinted moisturizer that I've ever tried. It's from NARS. Of course you can pick up NARS at Mecca Cosmetica. I don't know if this particular product was affected but they just had another recent round of price reductions. We're talking very similar pricing now with many different brands and products to American pricing bearing in mind that Americans do pay sales tax. Another recent probably 10% reduction at Mecca across many brands. Very impressive. Obviously they're gearing up for Sephora entering the market. If you're not aware Sephora is coming to Sydney right in the center of the city and uh, they are opening I think around December time with a phase in of over 200 brands I think. So I don't know what they'll be opening with but uh, they have promised that their prices will be equivalent to US. So Mecca is obviously gearing up for some fierce competition there. But anyway I'm uh, going off on a tangent. NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer I've been matched to the Gronland Light 3 shade for my NC25 skin. I love it. It's not too oily. It stays on all day and gives decent coverage and obviously still moisturizes your face, which is fantastic. I am loving that. Some other face products. I've got two from MAC that I've really been enjoying this month. This is an oldie but a goodie. It's been featured in yearly favorites for me. This is the Mineralized Blush in Warm Soul. Warm Soul is just a gorgeous all over sort of highlight blush bronzer. Really, it's one of those products you don't need to wear the three separate components it'll just you know warm up your face it gives a bit of a glow and a bit of a blush at the same time it's got some really really tiny gold flecks they don't show up as such on your face but oh, I just I love warm soul it's one of my all-time favorites from Mac really nice and easy out the door type products and then this is one of my favorite powder blushes from Mac it's beautiful it's their sheer tone blush in peaches peaches is exactly what you would imagine uh, it's a very matte blush this is it here it just it goes on beautifully. It lasts throughout the day. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. It's obviously peach, <laughs> um, but I would thoroughly recommend the shade Peaches. I've got quite a few eye products actually that I've been enjoying this month. And uh, the first one is from Benefit. And this is their Big Beautiful Eyes Eye Contour Kit. It contains three powder shadows and also a concealer. So this is the Boing Concealer in O2. I'm not sure if you have a choice of shades, if another concealer shade would match you better. I haven't used the brushes, but it does contain some decent brushes in this kit, but just three basic lovely shades. I love this light pink. I love this medium tone. I love this brown. This is what they look like on my hand. Just some gorgeous, gorgeous everyday colors. Three shades, but you can do so much with them. It's nice and slim line. You've got a brush for concealer. You've got a contour and a liner, sort of jewel ended brush as well for the eyeshadows. I love this palette. I'm really enjoying it. So I would recommend the big, beautiful eyes. And I also think it would make a fantastic present as well. I have also been really enjoying the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette. I did a massive USA haul of 
products that I've ordered over the span of probably six months or more. My sister finally shipped them to me. I was ready to call it a day and have everything come and arrive. So um, I ordered this one some time ago from the It Cosmetics site, had it shipped to my sister. I will include a link to pmstudio.com.au. I think it is down below. Um, they do stock It Cosmetics in Australia and uh, great company, great website, great customer service. Look for that link if you are interested in buying It Cosmetics from Australia. As I said in my USA haul, the packaging is horrendous. It's the worst packaging I've ever seen, just aesthetically, as far as any eyeshadow palette that I've ever owned in my entire life. But the palette is lovely and I am wearing a combination of different products on my eyes today, including the Naturally Pretty palette. This is what it looks like. Plenty of people have reviewed this palette and done tutorials and looks with this palette, but a lovely range of neutrals and some colors as well. Muted colors, I would say. Perfect for the everyday person looking for a range of shades. It Cosmetics, brilliant brand. I have never been disappointed, I don't think, with an It Cosmetics product that I have used to date. So I've really been enjoying the Naturally Pretty palette. I need to stop talking as much this video. I'm feeling very talkative today. Sorry about that. We need to get through this. Okay, now these eye products I have been sent. These ones are from CoverGirl and they are the Bombshell Shine Shadows. They come in these little tubes like this. They are out in Priceline or wherever you find CoverGirl now. And I must admit that I've tried plenty of products like this before from the drugstore and haven't always been impressed. Number one, they're usually quite sheer and they don't go on very evenly. Number two, they often crease and uh, just don't last throughout the day. So when I received these products, I must admit that my expectations were relatively low, but I have been so pleasantly surprised by these. They are absolutely gorgeous. I find that they go on very nicely and they last all day. Now, I do always wear a primer. It doesn't matter what I'm putting over the top. These last beautifully over any primer that I've used. They've got gorgeous shades. Um, they've got one called Gold Goddess, which I'm wearing on my inner corner. Also the Oola Lilac. I did a picture a look with this I think on Instagram I'll include a picture of that color me money which is a sort of grayish greeny shade beautiful I think I have a picture of a look with this I will post that for you and also copper fling there is one more shade hiding somewhere I'm not sure what I've done with it but an icy an icy silvery shade as well the copper fling is beautiful it's just an everyday sort of um, uh, bronzy goldy shade I think it was the first shade that I, I went for but a really lovely neutral look if you're looking for a simple look to go to school if you're quite young in your teens wanting something to put on your eyelids these are beautiful they're affordable they're lovely pleasantly surprised pigmented you can pop them on with your finger maybe blend out the edge with a brush it's going to last all day really really impressed a couple brow products I've really been loving this month the Anastasia brow Wiz. I've got the shade medium ash it's not too warm it's not too dark it's not too light it's very, very thin. I think that this is not going to last you a very long time. A really, really nice brow product. Very easy to use. I've also enjoyed a set of lashes. I think I was sent these ones. I'm not sure because I've got a lot of lashes that I've bought from Ardell. And then I also received a few Ardell lashes uh, recently. These are the Ardell Glamour Lashes in 103. I think I have a picture of myself wearing these. But these are beautiful lashes. They are dramatic enough to make a real difference, you know, to your look. Lashes make Makes such an incredible difference just like brows to your face they just frame the face they're beautifying and uh, I love these ones they're not too long I pretty much always have to trim my lashes these ones I didn't and they just sat beautifully they weren't too much they weren't too little they weren't too dramatic great everyday set of lashes if you want that extra oomph I really like these and of course very very affordable comfortable yep lightweight yep 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 103s like them a lot one more eye product and this one was from the Chanel 2014 fall collection they have released a sort of range of very pinky I think there's a yellow in there but very pinky plummy shades this fall I chose one shade of the ombre essential soft touch eyeshadow and this is 106 hesitation it's very plummy not only is this nice just all over the lid for a nice easy look this would look great with green eyes blue eyes brown eyes alike but also a really nice one for the outer V also for under the lower lash line if you just want something just a little bit interesting a little bit of plum 
beautiful eyeshadow. I really like Hesitation, of course very costly, but I do really like that shade. I have a few brushes I wanted to share with you. I've really been enjoying this from Scoochie. This one I was actually sent and uh, it's very, very similar to the Tangle Teaser. Priceline does stock the Tangle Teaser. I think I bought mine from Beauty Bay quite a while ago, but this is a really nice alternative with the Scoochie. You've got a little handle to hold as opposed to just holding, you know, the Tangle Teaser. I think the Scoochie is um, probably not quite as flexible bristles as the Tangle Teaser. They're a little bit stiffer, but a really nice alternative for those of you who like the concept but don't want to spend the money on the Tangle Teaser. Go Scoochie. I love a lot of their products. Brushes I've really been enjoying this month. This one is the Real Techniques Setting Brush, and I think you can buy this one on its own. I have an issue with blush that I just put on too much blush and I put it over too much of an area. Just when I start blending products out, if I'm using a normal larger brush that I usually apply blush with, it ends up covering my whole cheek and it's just too much. But I've really been enjoying the setting brush actually for blush cream blush, powder blush, any kind of blush. It really keeps the blush to a concentrated area and uh, I've just been loving it. It's also a fantastic brush for contouring. So you can use it for powder or cream products to contour, contour down the nose. Also for applying highlight, if you've got those really, really powerful highlights like the Balm's Merry Luminizer, for example, a really nice small size brush just to apply highlight where you want it, creams and powders. Um, and then also a really nice one as well for powder under the eye. So if you just want a little bit of powder on you know very concentrated areas this is a great brush for that as well but I have been really enjoying this this month for blushes in particular and it's a new use for me for this brush I love real techniques brushes and I do recommend iHerb I will include a link to a video I made quite a while ago now reviewing most of the real techniques brushes I had all the sets at the time and I talk about all of those and uh, let you know how affordable iHerb is I love that website very very fast shipping but the setting brush I absolutely Love it. I've really been enjoying this brush from Sigma. I've had this one for years and years. This is their Tapered Kabuki F86 brush. I really like this one for your cream and liquid bronzers. I've been getting into more cream and liquid uh, blushes, highlights, and bronzers this month. So it's just a really nice one for sculpting out just below you know, your cheekbone there, also into your temple. It's very soft, but the tapered shape of it makes it just very nice for contouring. So I really like that F86. Finally, I have a body product and then a few lip products to share with you. I've been loving this. I bought this in the recent Priceline 40% off all skincare sale. This is the Sanctuary Spa Hot Sugar Scrub. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I used it today before self tanning and uh, it's warming. That's what I love about this is that it's one of those sort of thermal products that you scoop it out and uh, it is hot on your skin. It's warm on your skin as you rub it in. It's beautiful. I love it. It's a nice exfoliation. It's not, you know, too soft. I want something to feel a bit gritty when I use it as an exfoliator, but it's not too much. It's certainly not, you know, scraping um, my legs or, you know, giving me gashes. So <laughs> this is really nice. I would recommend it. Very impressed with Sanctuary Spa products that I have used lately. So thank you for those of you who recommended that product. I'm loving the hot sugar scrub. And then some lip products I've really been enjoying. I'll keep it quick. I bought a few different shades of the Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick from Too Faced from Kit Cosmetics in my local Maya. Uh, these are the shades Melted Peony is the pink one and the Melted Coral is the peach one. These are gorgeous. I've also got the Melted Nude, but there are lots of other shades available. These remind me of like an OCC lip tar with a better applicator. They have a um, sponge tip angled applicator, make it very easy to get more precise application to your lips. They are on the matte side, they are long lasting, they blend beautifully with other products, a gloss over the top, beautiful pigmented lightweight, lovely, lovely lip products. Love them quite a lot. You may also be aware that Benefit has just launched a four, I think, balms that correlate with their um, cheek and lip stains. So I was sent this one, but this is a Cha Cha Balm, which um, is meant to sort of match the Cha Cha tint. A nice feeling balm, very buttery on your lips, quite sheer, but a lovely product for those of you who like balms. Gorgeous metallic packaging, love the packaging. So I wanted to let you know about that. I've been enjoying that. Great one for, you know, the afternoon, lips are feeling dry, lipsticks worn off, chuck it on type product. I've been loving, loving my L'Oreal Color Riche Extraordinaire. 
I have about four shades and this is my favorite 500 Molto Mauve. It's not a nude, it's just a beautiful neutral everyday lip. Love it. A very nice applicator. We've got that sort of angled um, doe foot applicator. A really lovely lip product. I'm enjoying these quite a bit. These are very similar, I guess, more so to the Maybelline Color Elixirs. A different feel, but, um, you know, not super long lasting, not a stain, just a nice, lovely lip product. It's not a lipstick, it's not a gloss, it's somewhere in between type thing. That is all of my favorites for August. I do have a miss for you this month and I'm really disappointed about it. Now, some of you are not going to agree with me on this one, but I have really been disappointed by the Revlon Color Stay Moisture Stains. I was just talking about the YSL Glossy Stains and many people find or say that these are dupes. I find that they're not dupes. I, ugh, I have not found a way to enjoy these lip products. They retail for $25.95 in Australia. So you'd want them to be good. I've got the shade 005 Parisian Passion, the shade 015 Barcelona Nights, and the shade 050 London Posh. London Posh is a shade that goes on quite sheer, but the minute you start building it up, it gets all cakey and stringy. This is a product that can build up on your inner lip. Uh, it's a product that you wanna make sure that you, you know, pull your finger through your teeth so you don't get anything on your teeth. Not long lasting at all. I have a nerve to put the name Stain on this particular product. Not long lasting. Doesn't feel great on the lips. And then for the more colourful ones, they do stain somewhat, but the finish, the glossy finish, fades very, very quickly. The stain that remains is very uneven. There is nothing nothing nice looking about these products on my lips maybe half an hour after I've applied them. I guess they have a right to put stain on it but I'd put yucky stain somewhere in the title. A friend of mine who does work at a Revlon counter did say that it's very important that these go on a clean dry lip so I decided to give it more of a chance. This week in particular I've been applying these over a clean dry lip same uneven wear unfortunately. I don't think I've got dry lips but maybe my lips are not um, suited to this product therefore a huge miss for me a huge waste of money $25.95 each I would definitely not recommend these let me know what you think though I would love to hear from you but I do feel very strongly I've decided that uh I do not like those at all, so I will be getting rid of those. I have no use for them. That is it. Thank you so much for watching my August favourites. I hope that you enjoyed. Let me know what your favourites have been for the month of August. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourself a beautiful day. Don't forget, you are gorgeous. And if you are going to IMATS this year in Sydney, September, see you there. Can't wait. Have a great day. Talk to you soon.